Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, we're going to get back to working on my four-wheeler slash lawnmower. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Last episode, I got the hood and all that mounted. I got the fenders mounted. I made this upper section of frame. I widened the front end and got my jack shaft mounted. Now, what I have right here is my engine mount plate. I've got it laid out here and I'm getting ready to cut it out. I also got to make bends on it so we can get the engine mounted. The first thing I want to do is run all the chain and have the drivetrain of it complete. That way I can make the rest of the back of my frame. Because I only made what I absolutely had to just to get the fenders mounted and figure out how long it need to be and how it need to be set up. And that way I don't make my frame and then discover that it's in the way and I got to change it. I can get all my chain ran and then make the frame around that. And I know I'm not going to have any issues. So now I'm going to take this jigsaw and cut this thing out. Then I'm going to take it over my bandsaw and cut on it a little more. And then we're going to make some bends on it and get it welded on there. Alright, now I'm making my intake bolts. I didn't have bolts that would fit with this intake. Regular bolts, the heads were too big around. And trying to save money, I found some Allen head bolts. And the head is too big around. But if you see how small the Allen wrench is, there's a lot that could be taken off of that. And they were too long. They would have stuck, stuck out. So I already cut them down. I backed that first nut off there and that repairs the threads and I take a file and I touch that thread right where it's thin and kind of taper it in and then I turn the second nut off and the bolt turns out really nice like that. Now to take these bolts down what I'm doing here I put one of the bolts in my drill set that stuff out of the way and I'm taking my belt sander here I accidentally deleted a lot of footage of me making this thing so we're kind of starting off here I've got a lot of stuff done on it and kind of sucks that I lost all the footage on it I have my steering done this is a right angle gearbox off of a mower deck actually it was the right angle gearbox off of this mower deck that the, these body panels came from um, so the steering's all done. I need to box this in, this little piece, but I mean, it's pretty much done. I got to go through and weld some stuff better. The body's mounted up. My whole drive train is ran. I don't have a key weighing one of these sprockets is the reason this ain't spinning. But this is all ran. My jack shafts are mounted. I was actually able to use the chain tensioner off of the four-wheeler and not even mess with it and make it work. So that was pretty cool. Right now, I'm making running boards for it. And I'm pretty much guessing where this needs to be. What I've done is I've set one of these front wheels on this thing. I can turn it both ways and it doesn't interfere with anything or hit this running board. But what I need to do is I need to actually sit on this thing and make sure the steering is going to be in the right place. And make sure these running boards are going to be kind of comfortable. I, I didn't lengthen this thing. I wanted to keep it short. So it might not be the most comfortable thing. But I can't sit on it up here. I have no headroom to actually sit on it up on this workbench. Even when I actually scooted my workbench back that way. But even when it's out here, you don't have no room to sit on it with all this metal above your head. So what I need to do is take this thing apart to actually get it down on the ground. Because it, it's too heavy for me to just lift off of there. I'll end up hurting myself. So I think mainly 
if I get that engine off of there, then I should be good to go. And I need to make sure that my engine actually unbolts off of there with all this steering in place. This right here doesn't come off, this frame structure, but this box does. So all we got to do here, I don't have no set screws in or anything, so this all should come apart fairly easy. All that is is a piece of jack shaft I welded on the end of this. This is a 5 8 tub for like a welder on pulley. This lifts off here. The shaft is splined. This sits on there. And then this gearbox spline matches and just sits in there. So once it's bolted on, it can't come up. I'm going to slide the steering all the way back out of here. Just make sure it's completely out of the way. Butterfingers. <laughs> yeah, and I, I drilled a hole in the side of this on the other side, and this tube comes out like that. My carburetor bolts up outside of here. I have a 34 millimeter Cayenne. It's like a kind of like a Makuni carburetor, the dirt bike style carburetor that goes on there. That steering makes it funny to grab this thing. Now I'm going to try to lift this thing off here without hurting myself. actually pretty nice that I know that works just kind of getting an idea where my feet are gonna sit they're not gonna sit on the inside because I got that clutch there so they're gonna be on the outside of this so I have this brake right here I need to move to the other side and hook it up I need to make a gas pedal I need to sheet metal them so my feet actually have something to sit on and then most of my controls are done. Then all I got to do is go through and throw some gussets in certain places, reinforce different things, and it's about it. I think it'll ride after that. All right, I got this thing put back up on the bench. I'm keeping it apart for a second. A few things I had to weld while it's still apart. I welded this on here. Now what I'm doing here is I just made this frame I made the least amount of frame I could possible until I got all the drivetrain, the steering, all that in place. Then that way I knew I didn't have to cut the frame apart and remake it. Now I'm coming back in here and basically putting the rest of the frame in and reinforcing it. I'm putting this here because just this one bar running here and this, this is going to want to flex down. That chain's going to get loose. It's going to pull. I could pull off my hand right there. So I'm going to go between the motor mount and this to stiffen things up and that way I don't have flex in my frame just from this thing wanting to move and take off. Alright, I got these two frame supports welded in. I got a few more things back here to weld. But before I do that, I need to figure out how to make this brake system work. Before this brake system, before it had the original four wheeler brakes, this pivoted on here, and your foot pressed that down and pulled this linkage to work your brakes back here. Well, now I need to transfer this over to the other side because my brake pedal needs to be on this side. So I have a piece of three quarter inch solid stock right here and I'm going to make tabs with a three quarter inch hole out of three sixteenths metal. 
right here right here I have three sixteenths by two inch stock so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a couple pieces out I'm going to get an idea of how big they need to be for pivot points for this thing that thing's an inch and a half thick so really this thing needs to be like two and seven eighths long so we'll make it two and three quarters I'll mark out two and three quarters right there Alright guys, we got the brakes done. All we have left to do is hook a throttle up, make an exhaust, and put running boards on this. I gotta gusset and weld a few things still, and we should be able to test drive it after that. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. It's been long enough. Next time we touch back, we should be able to get this thing running and test drive it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Throw a like on there. Share this with friends. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.